Seattle Kraken were just in town to visit the Red Wings, which brought along Everett Fitzhugh, the team's play-by-play -play announcer. He's made NHL history and he's a Detroit native and said he always has that road trip circled on his calendar because when you talk about circles, Fitzhugh's has come full and it all started in his hometown. So in Detroit, in Hockey Town is where your love yep. for the game started. Yep. How does it feel for you to return home and see the place where really it all started? You never realize just how much you miss home and how much a place means to you until you get to, to do your job in that place. So for me, it's just, it's awesome. How did you start liking the game of hockey? You know, I, I, want, why? Yeah, I wanted to fit in. I, I remember <laughs> being in third grade and a lot of my classmates and a lot of my friends at the time, they, they were all hockey players or hockey fans. So nine years old, I want to be cool too. But I, I tell you what, I'll be honest, my love for hockey really started when I saw an Oilers game and they had two black players on their team and Mike Greer and George the Rock. And for me, that was huge to see that representation. Now you are the NHL's first yeah. black play-by-play -play announcer. What does that role mean to you? It's a special role. And I get emotional sometimes thinking about it because I don't think anybody ever really sets out to be the first of anything. But when you find yourself in that position, I think you owe it to the culture that you belong to. I think you owe it to your sport. And I think more importantly, you owe it to yourself. I owe it to myself to be able to, to be that person I never had. I didn't have a whole lot of black influences within the game of hockey to look up to. I don't think anyone can sit here and argue that hockey needs diversity and inclusion yeah. and acceptance yeah. more than any other sport really. Coming from Detroit, knowing what that means already, yeah. how does it feel to play a role in that growth in the, the big landscape of the sport? I grew up on the northwest side uh, on Myers in between 8 Mile and Auto Drive. So, you know, you didn't see a lot of folks playing hockey in the street. When you have a city that is that is as diverse as, as Detroit is, you know, it's one of the, the blackest cities in America. And when you now have an organization that is trying to look like the city they represent, I think it's so important. To be able to say that I can have some small role in getting more black kids and, and more historically underrepresented communities involved within our game, that, that's special. That's really, really huge and really important. Everett was the absolute coolest. That was such a small portion of our entire conversation. And I did ask him, when you come back to Detroit, what's your first stop? Meaning food, is there a spot? He said mama's house. All right. That's quite <laughs> first the endorsement. Stop. And of course, he's blazing a trail for so many people. Absolutely. He was so cool. All right, Gina, thank you.